So we're gonna eat our hash browns, or our hash purples. So these are hash browns, but they're actually hash purples because we're using our purple potatoes that we grew this year in our garden. We used to have to bake the potatoes, or we thought we had to bake them first, and then we'd, you know, put them in the fridge overnight, and then grate them up. And it turns out that you don't have to do that. You just grate up a raw potato in plenty of oil or butter. Wash it first and then oh, grate it. Yes, definitely wash it first, huh, Banja? Uh -huh. And then grate it, and just Cook it and flip it over like a pancake, and that's it, right? Yeah. Um, it then, basically, um, if you put enough oil, the they're basically being fried. <laughs> so they're kind of like French fries a little bit. But these purple potatoes, or blue potatoes, if you want to call them that, um, oh, they're just healthier. They have a better flavor and less starchy flavor than regular potatoes. I say regular potatoes, but like russet potatoes. <laughs> I'm too hungry to keep cooking, so yeah. let's go ahead and eat. Okay. Yeah. Another funny thing we read online about um, making hash browns when we were trying to discover it an easier way is that you have to grate them into a bowl of water and soak them to, well, as the recipe says, to wash off the starch. I don't know why they came up with that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you do not have to wash them first. <laughs> well, you do have to wash the potatoes, but not the grated potatoes after the fact. So, we've got hungry kids. So we're gonna eat our hash browns, or our hash purples. And we will see you later. Bye.